Welcome to this episode of Tech Talk with the Unique Q500 Typhoon. Today we're going to talk a little bit about updating your firmware. I know there's a lot of questions out there that, you know, in confusion, updating the Q500. So we're going to go ahead and go through this step by step. For this updating procedure is the SD card, SD card adapter, a pair of tweezers, you could use the ones that are included with the Q500, and the USB programmer. The first thing we want to do is we want to go to unique.com and our website. Go to the support tab and the downloads tab. Go ahead and scroll down until you see the utilities. Q500 Typhoon GUI. Version 1.01 for Mac is the one I'm going to be using. If you have Windows, it's right below it. Go ahead and click the link and it will go into your downloads. Once da downloaded, go ahead and open it up. Follow the install instructions. Once installed, you'll have an icon on your desktop. Go ahead and open it up. Here's the, the main screen. You'll notice that the computer will ask for your to have USB drivers installed. Go ahead and click here. This will bring you to the FTDI chip website. This is where you will download the drivers for the USB. Select your operating system, mine being Mac OS X. I'm going to go ahead and select that. Once this is downloaded, go ahead and install. If you're using a Windows system, you'll want to go ahead and download the setup executable file. Once this is downloaded, you'll extract the files and then you'll want to run as administrator. This will allow you to install those drivers on a Windows-based system. You'll then want to go back to the unique.com website. Under the support tab and downloads, you'll want to download both the firmware for your Q500, which is our current version, version 1.01, .01, and the ST10 firmware 1.19. So now we're going to take the USB stick that is included in your Q500 and we're going to plug it into your computer. You want to remove this USB interface gimbal adapter. We're not going to need it for this update. Go ahead and grab your stick and plug it into your computer. Now what we'll need to do is we're going to go ahead and locate the firmware update wire within the Q500. You'll go ahead and open up the battery door, remove the battery, and you'll notice inside there is a wire that is velcroed towards the top of the right side of the Q500. You'll use the included tweezers in your package and pull that wire out. Once the wire has been removed, go ahead and separate the two halves of the connector. You'll then plug in your USB interface cable directly to this connection. Go ahead and move the wires to the side and install your battery. With the GUI open and ready to go, we'll power on our Q500. You'll notice here that the GUI will do a full system test and let you know that your orientation, pressure sensor, compass, GPS, and ESCs are in all good working order. For the update process, we'll want to go to device information and then firmware update. Locate the file that you downloaded previously. and then click open. You'll go ahead and then click update. You'll notice the progress bar will show you the updated progress. Once finished, it'll ask you to restart your quad row rotor. To verify the update, Go ahead and go to device information 
and read the current version, version 1.01, .01, latest version. You are now done with the Q500 Typhoon airframe update. Go ahead and power down your Q500, slide the battery out, and disconnect the USB interface cable. You'll want to go ahead and connect the other cable back together and reinstall it inside the Q500. The next step in updating is updating the ST10 transmitter. This is done by the previous downloaded firmware that you did on the website. Go ahead and grab your ST10 and your SD card and we're going to go ahead and install that. First, slide your SD card in the adapter and plug it into your computer. Once you downloaded the ST10 update firmware, you'll notice that it'll come in a zip folder. What you'll want to do is unzip that folder and then the extracted files will be also in another folder called the ST10 and your current firmware. Go ahead and open that folder up and you'll find two folders, one called firmware and one called update.zip. These two files must be put onto your SD card root so go ahead and slide those over to the SD card and let it install. Once installed on the card, go ahead and eject the card and remove the SD card from its adapter. We're going to take your transmitter, open up the battery hatch, remove the battery, and you'll see an SD card slot reader. Go ahead and lift up on the gate, and then the door will open. You'll want to fully install the SD card. You'll notice the contact pins there and the contact pins here. There is a groove section keyway. You want to make sure that the SD card is fully into that section. Close the door and lock it in place. Reinstall the battery. Push the connector out of the way and put the door back on. We are now going to power up the ST10. Once your ST10 is powered up, go ahead and select System Settings. OK the warning. Then click About Flight Mode Control. It will then scroll down and select Radio Control Update. Select both the ST10TX file and the ST10RF file, and then hit Update TX. Go ahead and OK, and then Update RF. OK, and then click Finish. Then you'll want to select System Update and hit OK. This will take approximately one minute. Once the update is finished, your ST10 will reboot. And this concludes the update pro process with the unique Q500 Typhoon. Once the ST10 is done updating its firmware, go ahead and power it down, flip it around, remove the battery, and the SD card. To do this, simply lift up on the gate, open the door, and pull the SD card out. Shut the gate and lock the door. You'll then go ahead and put your battery back in, slide the cover back on, and you are all done. This concludes our video on updating the unique Q500 Typhoon. Please like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Happy flying, guys.